Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La La Land on Transformation Tuesday. It's never too late to transform your life, for sure, and no better to. Um, Davina Katolsky is in the house. She's an author, psychologist, life coach. It's an amazing book. It's never too late to be yourself. Yes. I love that title. Thank it's you a that. great Thanks. title, right? Thank you, Ryan. Uh, so tell us a little bit about your journey. How did you become, you know, somebody who's transforming people's lives? It's a big, uh, big, big place to be. Like. It's a pleasure to, yeah, to do right? this work. Uh-huh. Um, you know, as as the guests before have shared, and as you all have shared, it's about doing my own inner work. Yeah. Um, I'm from Oregon originally, and uh, I came out as LGBTQ in the 1980s. Cool. And um, so uh, a time when uh, you know it was still illegal to be right. LGBTQ. And um, sort of spent a great deal of my time working. Wait, on... it was illegal. Yeah, it was illegal. What, what? I don't know this. Please yeah, enlighten me. It, until 2003, it was against the law. In some states, you could be arrested and thrown in jail just for being I did an not LGBTQ know person. This. And how did I not know this? Yeah, it's and so um, I got very involved in the marriage equality movement mm-hmm. to change the laws because I had fallen in love and I wanted to get married and I wanted everybody else to have that right too. So it's been like a yes, lifetime journey. Yes, I agree. Yes. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Thanks. Yeah. yeah been a lifetime journey of working to um, just be myself and help other people be who they came here to be. So whether that's folks in the LGBTQ community or uh, just anybody wanting to be more of who they are. So what really blocks somebody from listening to their heart? Well, we've been taught in the society to prioritize um, logic, right? I'm a psychologist. We learn how to analyze things. And and, um, in the academic world, it's about following logic. Um, In the social world, it's about getting along with everybody else, right? And putting on our personas and trying to, um, you know, do what makes, uh, what's socially respectable or acceptable. And I'm not saying that, that we need to create total anarchy here or throw out logic, but our hearts need to lead, right? We need to be able to come back to ourselves and say, well, what's important to me? Um, why, why am I here? What do I need to do? And um, and we get going really fast. And I know I speak really fast sometimes too, but it's like we start living our lives so quickly and we're trying to do so many things that we lose touch with our authentic essence. So how is that? Because um, I'm not gay, but I feel mm-hmm. like in my own spirituality, I had to come out of the closet. With, like it was yeah. scary to like come out with, with being what was my true self, right? Yes. So tell me like, how was that for you? Like where was that moment where you went, this is who I am? Mm-hmm. And like, I can't deny this, and I don't care what what happens out there, how people receive it. I was uh, sort of um, sitting outside and uh, having a conversation with God. Mm-hmm. And it was one of these things where it was like, okay, well, you know what? You made me this way. Mm-hmm. And so either I'm going to accept this as a gift uh, or I'm going to kill myself mm-hmm. because, you know, it, it can't be. It has to be one or the other. And I thought, well, that would be stupid to kill myself. So I'm going to accept that this is a gift and I'm going to love myself. And I can't tell you that I loved myself 100% from that moment on because I think we're always learning to love ourselves and letting go of layers of wounding and things of that nature. Chills, just thinking about Mm -hmm. you out there, you you know, having that that yeah. real conversation with yourself. But we, we, are, we are all created in love mm-hmm. by the Spirit and, uh, you know, and, and accepting who we are, that we are unique gifts, each one of us. I love that. You know? Wow, just profound. Um, really incredible story. And um, I remember reading somewhere, you know, psychology is the study of the soul. Psyche means soul. Yeah, yeah. And it's interesting, we've sort of taken this roundabout path there through logic and through the intellect, yes. right, to reach the soul. And so I'd just love for you to talk us, to us a little bit about like, mm-hmm. what's worked for you mm-hmm. in terms of discovering the self. Yeah. Of course, we use logic, but to hear the heart, something mm. entirely different is necessary. So how do you do that? Yeah, we have to slow down. We have to make space for ourselves. And it, it can be like just taking 15 minutes a day and just what would make you happy in this 15 minutes? And it might be to get up and go for a walk. It might be to, um, you know, I'm noticing the, the roses here. It might be smelling the roses, literally smelling the flowers, um, watching a sunset. Whatever you can do to just slow yourself down and start breathing deeply and connecting with yourself, with your heart, right? Um, Not just with your head. Uh, Meditation, we talked about meditation. You were talking about meditation earlier. That's a great way to slow yourself down and to just clear out the cachet, right? (laughs) right? Got to defrag the system. What about the people like me? Yeah. You say, I do not have time to slow down. Life is already moving way too fast. If I slow down, I won't keep up. Mm -hmm. Run over. Mm-hmm. So um, what I've found is that when you slow down and you're living from your heart, 
you're going to be more in alignment with things and you're not going to be creating resistance in your world. You're not rushing, so there's, you're more in the flow. So it will actually create a greater flow state for you when you're in your heart. When you're in your heart, you're breathing deeply, you're relaxed, you're creating a state of you know, what the HeartMath Institute calls coherence, right? right? And that's a physiological state that really it changes our heart rate rhythms. Um, I'm not going to be, be able to say it precisely, but it, the waves are like this. Now, with relaxation, the waves are even, but they're spiky, right? But when we're deeply relaxed and in a state of we're in a de- coherent state, which is the heart state, it's this beautiful kind of gumdrop flow. I don't know. So oh. when you slow down, when you're in your heart, you actually are more in the floor. You're more in alignment. Oh, thank you so much for yeah. sharing your story with us, Sabina. Please tell everyone where they can find and follow your journey and yeah. get the book. So you can get my book um, at where every, everywhere books are sold and online. Um, and my website is davinakatolsky.com. And if you go to davinakatolsky.com slash new book, you can download a free chapter of the book. Oh, nice. Thank you so much. Yeah. Remember, it's Thank never too late so to be yourself. So Stay tuned. We'll be back yeah. tomorrow. Good morning, Royal Alliance.